Uh, you're very welcome back. It's Catherine from Gerald's Town House, and we're doing a little bit of cook it. And today, while well, we're we're all um, at home for the coronavirus, so today I'm going to make some pasta carbonara. Um, and beside me here, I have a pot of boiling water, and I'm using some brown whole wheat pasta. But you can use whatever pasta you have. Spaghetti I'm using today. And just to measure the spaghetti, a really handy tip is that this thing in the uh, spaghetti, uh, whatever it is, <laughs> whatever implement that is, it actually is the amount of um, spaghetti needed for one person through this hole. Or if you have one of these, it's really, really handy as well. So I have just put bacon here. I'm using about 100 grams of bacon. and. Just throwing in my bacon and cooking that away and then I've after that's cooked for about five minutes I threw in my uh, two cloves of garlic if you don't like it garlicky you can you know reduce that okay so we have my bacon is cooked or you can use lardons uh, sometimes you can get ready chopped little lardons um, and my pasta is ready so what I do is I take my pasta out of the pot keep some of the pasta water okay because as the it uh, as we go on we might need the pasta water again this is so easy and so quick again another good one for the for the kids and um, to make because it's very simple um, there's two versions. I'm going to make one with egg for egg, and but you can also use creme fraiche. So you mix that up, and then you turn the heat off and reduce it from the heat. Okay. So you give it a little bit of a stir. I'm use my fork this time. Okay. And you have here. I have three beaten eggs and some Parmesan cheese. So I gotta put in most of my Parmesan cheese. This is 100 grams of par Parmesan cheese. But again, you can, you can reduce that if you like. Leave a bit of Parmesan cheese just for the, big, for the top. The heat is off because we don't wanna scramble our eggs. And if you're doing creme fraiche, it's the same. Put in like, uh, say three tea tablespoons of creme fraiche. And you gently just toss the egg in the pasta so it cooks but doesn't scramble so gently tossing it the, the pan is hot here and I can see my eggs starting to to cook on the pasta or to to gently coat it make making sure you coat everything mine is scrambling a tiny bit but again you can use creme fraiche and it's just as good sometimes in, in a restaurant um, I've been in restaurants where they just put a, an egg on top and you mix it in and then at the end you add a little bit of chopped parsley okay so I'll just show you that I'll burn my hands show you the finished product and that's it so my egg is just coated on my pasta but not eggy like scrambled egg but again if you use like two tablespoons of creme fraiche and just mix that through nice and gently it'll be the same effect okay so hope you enjoy it bye now